Yep. Let me uh, we'll get our recording started here. Hello, YouTube. I'm Slash and VC, and I am playing Legend of Grimrock with uh, my friend Boda from his channel Dwarf Elvish Diplomacy. That's Twitch and YouTube. Check him out. Hi That's there. Awesome gameplay. Say hi. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do something here. I don't know what. I've never played this game before. This is completely unspoiled. I haven't watched any videos. I haven't uh, done any wikiing. I do have a I do have somebody to tell me maybe what I'm doing on the headset right now, but completely unspoiled playthrough. Here it is. Mount Grimrock, a towering spire, looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood for ages, longer than the histories of men had been written. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. That's a weird time to remember something, you know? An airship <laughs> struggles to gain altitude as it floats toward the peak. I like the graphics already. Yeah, it looks nice. All right. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. They are accused of terrible things, but the grace of the king maybe will forgive their crimes. Or not. We they shall have see. one chance. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. What? They are at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. Oh boy. So basically, if they pass the test, they are free to go. I see. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark and to the freedom that awaits at the base of Mount Grimrock? Mm, probably not. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> I'll Depends give it on a safe <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a go. Yeah. Welcome to Grimrock. Okay, first time playing it says. A tutorial is available. Uh, accessible by pressing escape. Well, uh, Boda is my tutorial, so I'm going to skip that. Okay, basically, you can walk around with WASD. Okay, I've done that before. Okay, wow, that's crude but effective. I like it. I yeah, with Q and E, you can turn around. Okay, gotcha. When you right click on your guys, they will hit. Uh, not right click on them, right click on the hand. Okay, well, there's nothing to hit right now. So, oh. And it says how much damage they're doing. Gotcha. Your magicians don't have any spell now, so you can't cast anything. Okay, so don't try that until I've got some spells. All yeah. Right, got that. <laughs> Nymeria's spell fizzes. Or, uh, fizzles. Fizzles. And if you hold down right click, or left click, I don't know anymore, just click it, and then kind of look around freely with the camera while you have oh, it. Oh, okay, nice. Yes, yeah, right. And nice. you kind of need it. And if you click there, it will tell you what's standing there. Choose your fate. Perish in this cell or pick up the torch. Hmm. I think I will uh, perish. Thanks for watching. Well, it was a nice stream. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody just turned out. Okay, give it to one of your guys. Uh, pref don't oh, throw it away, uh, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Preferably uh, the Minotaur, because he's the guy that is doing the damage right now. Okay. Okay, and turn around. Uh, go back to your cell. Okay. And take a good look at the ward. I don't remember anymore if there was a secret somewhere around here, but I guess there was. Yeah, go there. Yeah, I got some hooks on the wall here. Yes. Got yeah. Uh, great. I don't see anything or Not there, there. Right away, but uh, you will see what it looks like when you've seen it the first time. No, I don't see anything here. Okay. Um, got a it, it could be the hooks at the wall, but just the hooks at the wall. You it takes some time to reactivate it. Okay, so well, leave. Well, now oh, we've got go a, back, uh, go back. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep, got something going on here. Can we click that? Oh. No, look down. Uh, turn right. Is there a skull? You have to stand on top of it to activate. Okay. 
No, no skull. Too bad. No. <laughs> that would have been the first skull for a minute, Ah, okay. You know, already the way that this thing is uh, turn-based, kind of, I don't know how it plays out in combat, but the movement yeah. is definitely turn-based. Um, you schmack want to um, deselect the Maria because uh, of obfuscating <laughs> your, your screen. Also, the torches will run out this time, so better take all the torches with you and get. There we go, yeah. Good tip. So on the left side is another torch. Uh, okay, hang on, let's see. Take this, yeah. And give it to the Minotaur, or...? Uh, do you know only need one torch at a time? To have enough... To have enough uh, light. So where do I so put just, this thing? Just, uh, just, just click your guy with it, uh, and... Yeah. yeah. And uh, now it's in his inventory. Oh, okay. Hmm... What do we have here? Oh, uh, hey, I got some clothes. Peasant's tunic. Hmm. Well, I think he wanted to give it to your guy because he's the only one that knows how to handle armor. Okay. Nobody else can wear that? Yeah, everyone else, you can wear anything, but the question is, will it be effective? I see. There's a chain also, there's I can't pick it up, though. No. Uh, also, there should be some trousers lying around there, too. So look at your feet to the right. Okay. There. Is that it? Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay. You still need to put on the clothes, by the way. Also, here we have the first weapon. Cudgel. A uh, cudgel. Minotaur, or...? I don't know. <laughs> Me either. Okay, I'll give it to him. Um, you don't have to equip, uh, have anything equipped. You need to right-click your picture of your guy. Okay. And then you have to equip thing. So like in the left hand or no that didn't work. Uh let's see. This can't click there. Okay. Uh right click? Nope. Uh nope. Left or no, or right click is not doing anything here. Yeah, click the inventory. Uh inventory. Hmm. Down okay. below the food. Down below the food. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you. And okay. the weapon tells you um, how much damage you're doing, with which critical effect. There yeah, those go. kind of stuff. Yeah, I got some clothes on. So I've got attack power 12. Accuracy, not so good. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> also, it's a mace, so your guy can handle it. All right. Now I need to close his window out so I can see... Oh no, there's no thing hanging here for me to... Oh, there's a lever right here. Okay. Oh. You need to turn around. Well, just use Q and E. It's the easiest way. Uh-oh. I heard something bad. <laughs> you have no idea about bad son. <laughs> What's this? It's a rock or something. I'll yeah. just give it to him. Uh, you can throw rocks by laying it into the hands and then right click. Please don't do that right now. <laughs> I wonder if I have to run through this door now. I'll try. Run for it. Ah. Okay. I'll take a guess. I need to drop a rock on this. That's what I'm thinking. So can I, I right click him. I pick the rock. I'm going to set it on the... There we go. Aha! Completely unspoiled player, right here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick up another rock in case I need one later. Here you go. Take that. Um, take um, um lay the take the rock out again. Uh, okay. Out, out of in its inventory and give it in the hand of your rogue. Uh, okay. So as you can see, in the hand in the hand of the rogue. You click to this picture. Yes. You can. You can lie, lie stuff directly into their hands, so you don't have to roam around in the inventory. Okay, like yeah, that? Yeah, okay. And if you click right-click on the stone... Mm-hmm, like right here? Yeah. Oh, he throws it. 
Nice. Then Which I, is helpful. <laughs> oh, and I like how when I pick it back up, it goes right back into his inventory because it remembers that it was his. Well, it doesn't always work, so you have to keep in mind that sometimes it won't. Okay. And soluble stuff works in a way that um, blunt stuff will lie around after you hit the enemy. And edgy stuff like throwing knife um, will actually stick in his body and can only be retrieved after you killed him. And I guess with tap tabulator, you can see the map you have seen so far. Uh, got it. Can, okay, yeah. Because it can qu get quite confusing. Okay, gotcha. And if you see something interesting or something you want to go back, you can click on the on the map and can say here, here's my stash, stuff like that. Okay, I got a key. I'm gonna go check that door now. Hey, I didn't uh, pick you, sir. Please go back. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm gonna go back to this door now, if I can remember where it was. Maybe I should hit tab. Uh, yeah, it's in this direction, I think. Let yeah. me check on the stream. So maybe this key fits? Yes! Okay. You know, and, uh,. But uh, this is how NetHack should start to look, maybe. I mean, you know. <laughs> although the problem is, of course, there are the guys who are very serious about this ASCII thing. Who would yeah, say that this would I be... I think there's, there should be a spiritual successor. Yeah, I agree. I am trying to get this rock out. I can't uh, do it, though. It's loose, but... Hi, hey, Vitagella. Welcome to the stream. I see you made it. <laughs> Oh yeah, long time no see. Well, which I mean, a couple days. Oh, I I'm playing Team Fortress with him. So. Oh really? That's the thing. I didn't know you were he's, playing. He's a demo man, and a crazy good one. Oh, you saw what I saw. Take a look on the left. You see something different. On well, the vault. Yeah, Cook. right here. No, that's... that's, that's <laughs> yeah. No. no, I don't see anything here. Look to the right. Okay. No. Loose rocket set. Right. Oh, look at that. Ah, that's clever. Welcome to Grim Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Got a key, another key. Let me put that in his hand so I remember where it is. Okay. So right now, I want you to guess who the first enemy will be, you will encounter. Um, and the Kevin like this. Because I think you will definitely be surprised. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Here's the key. I'm not going to feel the guess. Okay. I mean, I guess I should. Uh, I'm going to say that it's going to be... I, oh, I know what it's going to be. It's going to be a black pudding. Yeah. Seriously? So, something similar. I think. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Welcome back to NetHack. Okay, what is that? Well, it looks like a black pudding, doesn't it? Um, if I were you, I would throw my stone now. <laughs> right click, right? Right click. Uh, no, that didn't do So the thing that works, it, it, it comes closer to ah! you. Also, you, you. You need to click the weapon, not the hand, because then you're attacking oh, with oh, the hand. Oh, oh. And you might want to dodge him. By every time he tries to take, taking a step back, taking a step forward again, this kind of thing. I'm trapped <laughs> now. Yeah. Oh no. Right. no! 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 Welcome back to NetHack, right? <laughs> you <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and the huge snail is uh, trying to eat your face. No, it's like a snail or something. Oh god! How do I know how much damage I took during that fight? Um, yeah, look at the picture of your guys. The red bar is showing how much damage you took. The blue okay. bar is showing um, your power, your energy. Okay. 
So we um, only the front row is taking damage when you attack from the front. If you attack from left, the left row is, um, gets the damage from behind the behind row, and so on and so forth. Okay, okay, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I took slash him took a little bit of a hit there, but um, yeah. Okay, um, the the health regenerates on itself after a time. Oh, good. And but you get hungry with the time, so. Uh, when you kill snakes, they often drop things you can eat. Leather boots. And if you turn to the left, he overlooked something. Um, I think he's already got pants, yeah. Well, right. see, see, who, see which pants are better. Okay. I'm going to give this guy the knife now, and then give him that, okay. All right, these pants are plus two. Yeah. Yeah. And you gave and the other pants to the other guy. And these pants are uh, plus three, which, you know, they're both on the front, right? So it doesn't matter. My health is actually coming back quite nicely. I think I'm going to beat this game, actually, today. Yeah? <laughs> it's pretty easy. Oh. It, seems, <laughs> it seems really easy, right? Okay, I'll Right you now, your Minotaur has not the weapon equipped. You huh. just pack this into his backpack. Okay. I don't know. Hang on. Just right click. Um, the the cudgel or whatever it is called. Yeah. Okay. And put, uh, puts the torch into his right hand. They have two hands. They can do it. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, he isn't wearing any pants. <laughs> okay. Yep. No pants. Now he has. Which Pants. Which could be a problem. By the way, by the way, the Mary is naked. So please, viewers, continue to watch, like, <laughs> like, leave a comment, <laughs> subscribe. <Okay. yeah. laughs> All right. So spend uh, money on Patreon. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I don't know about that. Pa oh, here we go. And here's a thing. I don't know about that thing. I mean, um, oh, hey, is this a weapon? Do you uh, do you watch anybody uh, throwing knives? That strikes me as something that he might want. Say, can we put that there like that? Yeah. Okay. Do you watch anybody um, on YouTube who has Patreon? Has a that? lot, actually. Do yeah. Did you get involved in the Patreon thing? Oh no, 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 no. Because I'm a poor bastard. Yeah. No, I hear you. Okay, I can't <laughs> throw that knife. Okay, okay. No, you have to. You have to wait. They have oh, a cooldown right, camera. right, right. Okay. Okay. If you hit enemies from the side, uh, you're doing more damage. You, you left clicked, and then you left clicked again. Okay. No, I think I've got it now. Come on, guys. Don't do this to me. This is for your own good. Oh no. This is no. I'm, uh, uh. You can dodge. You can go. So you can stray forwards and backwards. Okay, back, hit, back. <laughs> no, no. And that's why it's getting frustrating to stream if you don't have the right there choice of, of guys because it will take forever. What is that? I was streaming Grimrock 2 yesterday with my red people. Well, upper left corner tells you. Uh, snail slice. Yeah. We're going to eat that later, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I thought I saw another snail. Yeah, here he is. Here he comes, too. Okay, we're going to hit him from a distance first, and then we're going to do this real professional this time. Hit him, back up. No problem. Hit him, back up. The Minotaur is doing the damage, but he's also a bit inaccurate with the cudgel. 22. Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Oh, oh, nowhere to back up. Okay. Strafe. Okay, the enemies will turn around after time, so if you if you strafe to the left, you see, he will come after you. <laughs> so Oops. I'm nope. playing easy, the easy mode by the way now. So um, you can fight enemies. If you're playing harder modes, most of the time you want to lock them out and well try to get them a uh, as far away from you as possible. Uh, we we'll really pick your fights, but if you're playing easy mode like now, you don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. Which makes it easier to stream. 
You know, it's. I think it's probably better um, yep. if I play easy mode right now. Yeah. Because stuff is happening. <laughs> all, all you professional Grimrock players out there, um, don't watch my yes, stream. Don't. It'll just make you mad. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm wondering about this door now. Can't like just click it. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, I need a key. Try to do the camera movement with Q and E. It's much easier than to move around your mouse all the time. Okay, gotcha. A little bit more blunt to watch, though, but yeah. Ah, oh, that feels so nice. Look, I'm just looking around. Oh, what's this? It is... Oh, I gotta get over it first. Oh, shoes. And a rock. You can have that rock. And this is... Baked maggot. Mmm. Mary, I got something for you, baby. Here you go. Mm -hmm. That baked maggot. We're still trying to get Splash undressed. Oh, he's got shoes already, so I guess the Minotaur... Always hover about the stuff you are collecting to see what it is. Okay. Project uh, plus one. Yep. And uh, Slashem has a plus. Was that one or four? Four. Four. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's something else here. Loincloth. I don't know if this guy has one yet. Oh, he's got, uh, oh, snail slices, okay. Uh, oh, he's got pants, so let's give <laughs> Nymeria a loincloth. So that she's... Uh, it gives, uh, like, take a look at it. Uh, uh power plus one, willpower plus one, so that's good for her no, casting. minus, willpower oh. minus one, attack power plus one. Oh, minus one, yeah, okay. So she doesn't and want that. And only the easy. most self-confident of men, what stood there too? Okay, so <laughs> we want to give... The Minotaur, the loincloth. Give Nymeria the pants. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, so here comes the question. Is this stuff uh, randomly generated or not? No, nothing is gen randomly generated. But there are user dungeons. You can download them. Mm. So if once the game is finished, you can play a user dungeon. So, by the way, your torch is running out. Okay. So, you might want to get another out. Uh, burnt out. Okay. There we go. Close the pit, something needs to fly. So perhaps if we threw something at that right there, let's try it. Uh -huh. Small guy. Uh, that gave us the key we need. Yeah. Let's pick that up. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hear something bad. <laughs> It teleported you right there. It did? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was nice of it. I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to save, by the way. Uh, okay. How do you save? Escape save. Escape save. Okay. Is this also fast saving, but I don't know where. You create new file. Save one, I guess. All right. Now, back to that door, I guess, which was this way and then to the right. Well, look around because you haven't seen this thing behind you yet. Um, if you open the map, you can see where what you've seen and what you haven't seen. Okay. Uh, by looking at, uh, um, at the border. Okay, I see a grate. And, ah, some stuff. And if you run into a, a way that ends blind, maybe there's something more to it. Really? Hmm. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to look for one of those rocks that they had earlier. I don't see one. Always a smart idea, but this <laughs> doesn't seem to be one. Okay. It's been a while since I played the first part, so... <laughs> uh, I, I can't help you all the way, but I remember lots of stuff. Because it's an impressive game. I am having a lot of fun right now. I have to let this cat out, so I'm, I'm going to tell my uh, YouTube audience that... Um, very glad if you watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to wrap the episode up right here and come back for episode two, which will be tomorrow or the next day. <laughs>